Yikes. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. If you are new here, I am happy that you're here. Thank you so much for watching. How is everybody? How are you doing today? I hope that you guys are doing fine. I know there's a lot of craziness, a lot of heaviness that has been happening. Um, yeah, it's just a whirlwind of emotions. Um, I live in California, so we are back in tier purple, which means that, you know, restaurants are now having to only have outside dining options. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but I do hope that wherever you are in the world that you are okay. And I am sending a big virtual hug because I don't know, I feel like we need a good hug every now and then. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to know what is the condition of your state? Are you guys going back on lockdown? And, or if you are from another country, I would love to know as well. And yeah, but on another note, I am here to share with you a mango haul that I just purchased and my order came in not too long ago. I actually ordered it on the 31st of October. The order came in, I'd say about two weeks. Um, and so I thought I would share with you guys because I did a recent Zara haul and I'd say that the two brands are kind of comparable when it comes to the styles. So I was kind of curious to see what's it all about. I purchased a, um, I purchased a bag from Mango before, but never clothes. And so I was pretty impressed. I mean, you'll see it as I go through each item. Some of them I was like, wow, that's really cool. Some others are actually, I'm gonna return. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. And if something comes up, I'll just word vomit <laughs> as we go, because that's that's how we do it over here. First things first, let's talk about the sweater that I am wearing. It is from Mango, yeah, obviously. And this is probably, this I'm this is the, my favorite piece. I'll say it right now. This was my favorite piece from Mango because one, the quality, I was actually very impressed by it because it's very soft. This fits me very nicely. I forgot what size I got, but I'll, um, I'll put it in the links below. But yeah, the length is perfect. It's a little bit of a crop size. I kind of wasn't expecting that, but I, <laughs> okay, my, I just noticed that one of my button jeans are not buttoned. Cool, cool cat, very cool. Yeah, so it's a little bit cropped, which I actually appreciated because it, it looks really cute when you tuck it into some high-waisted jeans, which is what I did, that's how I styled it. And I'm very picky about my turtlenecks, especially when they're more chunky. I like it to sit up and just feel very cozy, just like how this one is. I don't really like it when say that it's supposed to be a turtleneck, but it's it's not very firm here, so it just kind of drapes, and when you wear a shirt underneath it, you can see it peeking through. I do not like that very much. So this turtleneck just sits so nicely around it. I, I, I feel warm, I feel comfortable, and yeah, this was my favorite purchase, and one of those sweaters that I'm hoping will last me for not just this season, but also next year as well. Moving on to some pants. Now I said that I was going to steer away from jeans for the time being, but I lied. But they're white, okay? They're white jeans this time. And so maybe that's an exception. So for those who say that you cannot wear white after Labor Day, you can, okay? So at least I think so, and I'm going, I'm going to wear white. I'm just gonna do it, okay? Just. Just don't come after me. I'm so happy that I finally had a good pair of white jeans and it took me the fall season to get some. I think this would have been so great in the summer, but what I love about this is that it is going to be very nice to have during the summer, but I'm also going to enjoy styling this piece during the winter time. I got a size one and that fit me fairly well. I need to start sizing up in my pants because I, I'm starting to not like it when it's tight. I like the loose fitting style of bottoms. And so this, ah, it had some stretch. It was kind of loose, just not loose enough for me. Um, but I did get a size one. What my favorite part about these pants is that it's a little bit of a wide leg. And I love this, this edge right here, how it's cut and it's just adds that casual 
feel to it. I mean, any tips on not getting your white jeans dirty, let me know. I'm kind of nervous to wear this out when I was, when I styled it and Justin was shooting, he was like, how are you going to manage to keep those clean? Cause I am the most, I am the biggest klutz, you guys. Like every day I spill something or I knock something over. I kid you not, never fails. There's at least one time in a day where something just tips over. Cause, and so I'm nervous. I'm I, straight up. I'm nervous to wear these pants <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna manage to to wear them without ending up with a giant sting on them. This would have been a cute outfit for Thanksgiving, but am I gonna put myself in that situation? Absolutely not. Oh, but I do love these pants and yeah, very, very good. Very good pants. All right, you guys, I am having so much technical difficulty with this video, but the show must go on. I am determined to finish this video. So yeah, I had to tie my hair up because I was just like, all right, we got a serious business here. But we are back and I apologize if my lighting is way wonky at this moment, but we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so I just talked about the pants. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys were these loafers. And I know, I know I purchased loafers from Zara, but I also wanted to, you know, the ones from Zara, the leather was a lot more shinier and it was just it was more of a formal loafer i wanted to get something that was more casual and so i found these on mango the leather is so much more softer the details are more subtle as well so i feel like this could go more with anything and also it was a lot more comfortable as well so i do like these loafers i could wear these to work i could wear these with any pants really more so like cropped pants and yeah these were pretty good i like them and quality is good and that's something that i noticed with mango their quality is i would say slightly better than zara price point i feel like they're more expensive but quality i feel like mango takes the cake let's see the next thing i got were two dresses my hauls have been more essential pieces but i wanted to look into some dresses and these dresses I, I took a chance, I took a risk on them, but I was actually pleased with it. I got this dress right here, it's, it's floral print, and I'll be honest, when I first got it, I was a little bit confused because it had like this shiny detail to it, and it was a lot longer than I had thought it was going to be, because I, I, I want, this is the dress that I was saying I wanted to style with the Zara boots that I, that I previously purchased, and I wanted the dress to be a little shorter, but it sat just um, a little bit at my knee, maybe a little past it. But when I put it on, styled it with the boots, tied up my hair, and just, um, at first I had this buttoned all the way up, but I decided to unbutton four of them and just have it a little bit more casual. I thought it was really cute. And it came with a ribbon as well. I was on the fence if I wanted to wear it like a muumuu type of situation, but, I thought it looked better when you cinch it at your waist and at first I did the, I tied it like a ribbon with loops but it just looked a little too cutesy for me um, but when I just tied it, um, double knot it and just let the ribbon hang, I, I liked it a lot more. And so yeah, I mean I was actually considering to return this dress but the more that I wore it, it was a lot more comfortable and I, I bought this wanting to wear this for Thanksgiving. You know, it just seems like those a comfortable, low maintenance dress. You could just eat all day in it, just sit whatever, play with the kids, play with my doggies. Like it just was gonna be an easy, low maintenance dress. And definitely going to keep this one. It was cute. I was looking for a dress to wear for my friend's wedding that was scheduled for this December due to the circumstances she had to move it. But before she made that announcement, I was looking for a nice um, winter dress to wear. And this dress I thought was, oh, it looked stunning on the website. I got it in person and it's just even more stunning in person than it was online. The quality is there, like it feels expensive. The length actually was, it worked pretty well on me. Um, it was like on the borderline going to be a little bit too long, but it just, it sat just right. 
where it was. My only thing was that it was it was kind of loose around the waist, but you know what? The way that this fit, I thought it was just it was just such a stunning, stunning dress. I mean, it, it's a lot more formal, but I'm hoping that there will come a time where we'll finally be able to go out and I'll be able to wear this dress because I, I think it's very classy and yeah, I thought it, it's beautiful. So I, I took a risk on it, glad that I did, and I came out with this beautiful number over here. Okay, so when I was on the website, I was like, I need a purse. I need a bigger purse because the ones that I have are smaller and I want to get a purse that is different from what I have but also can fit a lot more of my things. You know, sometimes I'm carrying like a vlog camera, my phone, my wallet, my keys, just something that'll fit all of that. So I saw this on the website, not thinking much about it. I just saw it and I was like, ooh, that's, that's stunning. I like it. I feel like it's... I don't have anything like it and it's just gonna look really nice with the outfits that I have planned for the season. So I was expecting it to be like this big, right? It was just gonna be my my go-to bag. I saw it and I was like, no. I can just fit my phone in here and maybe like some gum and, and hand sanitizer and my mask and okay. You know what? I was hating on this bag. I was like, this is so rinky dink. But when I when I styled this with my sweater and my white jeans, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Dang it, it works. I think I'm gonna keep it. So I fell in love, guys. I think this bag is, is beautiful. It's small, I wasn't expected. But what I also like about it is that it comes with a strap. I don't have it with me right now, but you can make it into a crossbody. And you can also just wear it like just as a handbag. You know what? It may not be the big bag that I was hoping for it to be, but it's very nice quality and I really do like the color of it. So it's it's staying with me. I'm gonna keep it. Joke's on me though. <laughs> So I think that's it for my mango haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. Mango has very good quality pieces. I think you have to just be careful with the sizing. Also, it is, I feel like it is a little bit more expensive than Zara, but you get better quality. And I think that's just, you know, it just depends on what's more, what's more important to you. I love the pieces that I got from Mango and I styled it in different ways. You can check me out on Instagram. That's where you can see the photos that my husband and I take as we style different outfits from the hauls that I share with you. I hope I get to see you in the next video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you know every time I post up a new video and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and take care. Catch you in the next one. Yeah.